Hey everyone, welcome back to Melissa's Kitchen Table, and I am Melissa, and this is Kane. And he just wants to say hi to all our friends out there. And today I have probably one of the largest grocery hauls I've ever done. Um, yeah, it's just so much stuff. Um, but some of it is for like our stockpile, and I don't really talk much about that. I don't really know if people are interested in that or not. Um, we've tried stockpiling for, you know, quite some time. Look at Mr. Nosy. And obviously with everything that's happened over the past, what, six, seven months, um, we've done more of it. So anyways, I will start over here. We don't have a baby, but we do use baby wipes. I do have a hairless cat that needs to be wiped down multiple times a week instead of giving her a bath. So I use fragrance-free baby wipes a lot, and they've been extremely hard to find, especially ones without fragrance. So I got a huge 900 pack. We will use them. I got some toilet paper. The Not the last one we had gotten, the one before was the Charmin, and I don't like the Charmin. We prefer Kirkland, and it's cheaper. Um, so they had obviously a limit of one, grabbed one of those. Then let me move over. All right. So the rest of the stuff, um, some of this, I got some active dry yeast that will be for our stockpile. I already have some. This, this better than bullion roasted beef base. It's organic. I'm all out of that because what storm did we just have? I forget the name of the storm we had about a month or two ago, whatever it was. And we were without power for quite a few days, so there was a lot of stuff I had to throw out. So I'm just replacing that. I got some chopped onion and granulated garlic for our storage. I got some bacon crumbles. We already have some in there. I bought the smaller bags for storage. And this I will just keep upstairs. This baking cocoa is also for storage. Vinegar. Um... We use vinegar to clean the whole house, so honestly, I don't know if we have one already or if this is just a replacement. And then I got some asparagus. Let me show you the prices on here. The baby wipes were $18.99. The vinegar was $3.29. The toilet paper was $16.49. I got this can of peeled Italian tomatoes. They're San Marzano tomatoes, supposedly. Um, I'm going to be making a big batch of sauce soon. And what did I say? That was $3.99. The baking cocoa was $6.29. The garlic was $5.59. The onion was $3.59. The asparagus was $4.99, which I think is a really good price. Uh, the crumpled bacon was $8.89, which I believe that was $9.99 before. The yeast was $4.59, and the beef base was $5.99. And like a fool, the chicken was on sale for, I think, $4.49, and I forgot to get it. So we spent a grand total with tax of $84.94 there. All right, so Trader Joe's. I will show you the prices because a lot of times I forget what they are and I forget to say them. And I spent $118.76 there. Now, if you've seen my other Trader Joe's hauls more recently, I used to go every week, but now with everything going on, it's a really long wait outside, and it takes up a lot of my time, so I don't go there weekly anymore, so I try to stock up on things that we like, uh, so I go there maybe once a month, twice a month at the most. I don't know if it's like that everywhere, but the, our stores in Connecticut are really small, and a lot of people go there, so there's a long wait. And we got our chicken shawarma thighs. Love these. We like to either eat these over rice or as tacos. Got some extra virgin olive oil. I've never seen these there before, but they're Cold River Gold Premium Maine Potatoes. And my family is from Maine. Um, we're from Fort Kent, Maine, my dad's side. And I lived there um, when I went to college. Very cold. So I got some of our garlic powder that we use normally. And our hairless kitty likes these. Our, um, we have a Siamese also. He doesn't like treats. He just likes meat. Um, 
Edie, our Sphinx, loves these. I had gotten her the other kind of Trader Joe kitty treats, and she won't eat them. So I got those. We've been out of pepper for a while, so I got some of that. This is the first time I've seen the Scalloped Cracker Trio, Rosemary, Red Chili, and Garlic Crackers. The Red Chili um, Crackers are very, very good. So I figured we would give that a try. Got some whole milk regat cheese. I'm going to be making a cannoli pie for Sunday dinner's dessert. I'm also going to be making cornbread, so I needed some buttermilk, and that's the only brand they have. I always buy the basmati rice there, but I will tell you, this bag is a lot smaller. I want to say the other bag I used to buy was three pounds, and I should have got two. Didn't think, but whatever. This is one of our favorite, favorite from Trader Joe's is the Kung Pao Tempura Cauliflower. Love this stuff. So I got one of those. It is a little more expensive. It's $5.49. The Mandarin Orange Chicken, I believe, is $4.99. I got two of those. That'll last us quite some time, the three of these. And then last time I went there, I got myself some flowers. Um, I just think they look so pretty. And honestly, I don't even know what the price was. I think these green things were $2.99. These, I don't know. The sign was knocked over and I couldn't find it. But yeah, I got that. Got some fresh blueberries. Got some Havarti cheese. They had, I've never seen this there before. It's the spicy uncured charcuterie selection with sp spicy copa, spicy suppressa salami, and a cooked spicy capicola. I like the capicola. My husband will eat all the rest. I got some cream cheese for that cannoli pie. Got some butter. Their butter is our favorite. Also, these Carol's pasture-raised eggs are our favorite. I have maybe three or four left, so I wanted to make sure I got that. These are one of our new favorites. Absolutely love these organic mini flour um, tortillas. They're small, so they're perfect for street tacos. I have a video out. I'm trying to think. It's um, tamarind. Well, technically the recipe is tamarind duck tacos, but I substitute pork shoulder or pork butt, whatever, for the duck meat. Um, so it's tamarind pork tacos, and I use these. Love these. So they're going to go right in the freezer. What else? Another one of our favorites is the baby cauliflower. Love this stuff. Um, they had the Her Harry Cover there, and again, I don't remember the price, but this is quite a few, you know, a couple meals in here for us, which is nice. Another thing we really like is their Tea Tree Tingle Body Wash. It has peppermint, tea tree, and eucalyptus botanicals. Really like that. That's nice. And we got two red bell peppers. So my mother-in-law is from Brazil. Me and my husband are not Brazilian. Um, but my mother, mother-in-law, Christina, is from Brazil. And she makes these beans, and I can't recall the name of it. But that's what I'm going to make. And I'm going to try to do a video on it. These beans are so, so delicious. I absolutely love how she makes them. Um, she uses like um, uh, pinto beans, red pepper, onions. Um, sometimes she does cilantro if she's making it for her family. I don't personally love cilantro. My husband likes it, but his father doesn't. So she usually doesn't make it um, with cilantro for him. I'm trying to think what else is in there. She uses short ribs. And I think kibasi sometimes. So anyways, that's what I'm going to be making. So I got two peppers for that. I got some powdered sugar for that pie. I got two things of peanut butter. I got the crunchy and the creamy. I think last from there are blackberries. All right. So let's see. Here is what I got at the outlet store. There's four loaves of seeds, grain bread. It's a, a gluten-free bread for my sister, so that's why it's not here. I spent 23 there. These I thought were just super cute. They're petite pot vanilla French pudding, and they were 75 cents, so I figured we would just try them. And they had this huge, huge bag of iceberg lettuce for $2. 
This is two bucks, and it looks absolutely good. And there's no air in the bag, so I think that'll last for a while. And then for the beans, I got these Hatfield Polish Kabasi, two of those. They were $1.99 each. And I got these Buffalo Spiced Alaska Wild Wings. I had gotten these a couple times ago. We still have some, but as you know, in grocery outlets, things come and go, and then that's the end of it. And every time I try to order them from Walmart, they're always out. So these are two pounds, and they are on sale for $7.99, so not $9.49. These are super, super good, especially for fish tacos. Absolutely love them. And then I just got this tiny little thing of organic corn for $1.19. And lastly, I went to a local store because I couldn't find the meat that I wanted anywhere. Um, I wanted short ribs. Uh, Costco didn't have it, and Trader Joe's didn't have it, and neither did this place. So I ended up getting two center cut shanks. These are expensive to me. They're four and change each but whatever. And then I got these for when I make my sauce and these are $4.63. I got my pound of pinto beans and I forgot to get the garlic at Trader Joe's. So I grabbed a head of garlic and an orange and a lemon for that pie. So yeah, this is the largest, I feel like the largest grocery haul that I've ever done. Um, it's a lot of stuff. It's going to last a long, long, long time. Like I said, some of it we stockpile. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and share, and I will talk to you all next time. Bye.